Hi, in our last video, we showed you how to create a simple layout or landscape design to give to a customer using Land One Takeoff. Now I'm going to show you how you would do a design build irrigation system, and we're going to use that same little basic landscape design that we did earlier. So this is the same project we were in before. To create the irrigation plan, I'm going to create a new tab by clicking this plus arrow here. I'm going to title this section Irrigation. Okay, now I'm going to choose a file to upload that same landscape design that we did before. This is our finished plan. I'm going to open it and it's going to process. So while that's processing, I'm going to go ahead and add in my material. So we're going to add some rotors and I'm just going to keep it generic. It's going to be circles, blue, I want the color and the size to be small and it's an object. We're gonna do some sprays. Got the spray head here already in. I like to do my spray heads as triangles. Uh, small object, we'll keep them yellow. Let's add in our valves. This is just a little residential system, so these will just end up being one inch valves. Um, not a very big property. We'll do red. I like to do my valves as squares. Then we can add our pipe. Let's do uh, the main line. We can do it as inch and a half PVC. We'll do it red. Now we want the, since this is pipe, we want our annotation type to be length. Let's do our lateral lines. They can all be one inch. Since, like I said, it's a small system. Um, we'll do one, yellow for our one inch pipe. Again, a length material. Click save here. All right, now we have just the basic components set up for our irrigation system. Our plans finished uploading. We're going to click markup plans to begin. Now, just as before, we're going to set our scale so we get our right measurements. Click measure on the set scale. Click on one end. Click on the other. This is 40, 80, 120 feet. Click save. Now our scale is set. And I can begin laying out just for this simple irrigation design. I could have, see I uploaded the, the landscape drawing just so I could see where the shrubs and grass line was that I had designed. I could have also just uploaded the blank uh, site survey and laid out my irrigation that way. All right, so first I want to start with rotors in this open area. An important tool to, to remember when you're doing the lands, the excuse me, the irrigation, it's just like the landscape design is the show distance guides. This is going to help you lay out your heads according to the distance that you want to have between them. So I'll start here in the far corner and I'll click to drop a head. All right, now you can see that distance guide floats a measurement is going to allow me to place some other other heads around to be able to get head-to-head -head coverage. So I'm going to drop a head in this corner, this corner, and this corner. I think we're going to get pretty good coverage that way. Let's see. We can do rotors here in the front as well. We've got uh, 26 feet. Here's a... All right. I can zoom out. Um, I think we will probably Let's see what that distance is. We'll do some rotors here as well. They're 22 feet apart. All right. Now let's here get our turf or our plant bed area and this little side turf over here. Put some spray heads. I'm gonna click on my show distance guides. I'm gonna place some sprays. That's since it's just a simple residential, we're just going to do, let's see, that's 10 feet. We're going to put some heads 10 foot on center around the outside of the bed. Spray back in towards the home. You could do them on the inside and spray back out. That's just really a matter of preference, according to the contractor. All right, now let's get some sprays for this turf zone here. Feet. 10 feet 
down, get one here. And now since it's turf, we're gonna get nice head-to-head -head coverage and come across from each one. All right, so now we've quickly laid out our, all our heads. You saw how simple, quick, and easy that was. Now let's play some valves. Basic residential system, uh, we're just gonna assume that the water meter's maybe here. Um, and we can play some valves. Let's see, I've got 14 rotors, so I'm gonna need two valves for the rotors. Let's put uh, one on this side, one here, or a back spray. Let's come to this side of the sidewalk over here. And we will do a valve for my rotors, and a valve for my bed spray zone. All right. Assuming maybe our point of connection is, is in this area here. We're going to come out from our water meter and begin drawing our main line. All right. That was quick, so let me show you how I did that. I simply clicked on my linear distance main line material. To start drawing, I click once and it allows me to start pulling a line. <clears throat> so I can click again to draw my main line material. When I need to stop to start another point, I simply double click at the end. So click, click, double click. All right. Now we can route our lateral lines. We're going to catch these six heads on this uh, rotor zone here. I'm going to come out of this valve. Simply clicking at each head. We'll come across here. Click, click. All right. Let's see. That's uh, excuse me, eight eight heads there. Let's do this. I don't like the way that is, so we're gonna I'm gonna come down and catch this head. We're gonna take this head off of that one. And we'll put it on this valve over here. All right. Let's do this too. Let's assign this valve for our pipe drawing is nice and clean. But that's all. All right. Now you'll just finish doing the same thing. You'll route the pipe for all of your for all of your zones. Running quickly just like I did before. last spray zone <clears throat> you want to indicate that it's not on that uh, these zones you can just simply draw a little loop at the line double click <clears throat> we'll come from this head and run up along that line and double click and I'm done all right, now we have a simple irrigation layout that you can give to your crews or, or give to your customer as well if you need to. Um, you can label each one of these if you want to, just to show what's a rotor, what's the pipe, that sort of stuff. Um, and then to finish up, just like before, you can download this annotated plan or you can download the material list that can be copied or printed off and given with this plan to your customer. Uh, as a part of the uh, bid process. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll take what you learned here and create much more complex irrigation plans. And to find out more tips and tricks, check out our other tutorials on our YouTube page.